guys, what's going on? Uh, basically, what I want to do real quick uh, is tidy up my room, and then once I've done that, I'm going to chill for a little bit, watch a couple of YouTube videos, then after that I'm going to go to the gym, then go to college, then go to my girlfriend's, we're going to make pancakes, and I'm going to be making my pancakes with this bad boy, chocolate brownie, wait, protein from my protein, okay, I can't actually put that back in, there we go, um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing that real quick, uh, might as well just leave this here recording, because fuck it, why not, maybe watch a little bit of YouTube while I'm packing up my shit, putting it away, so I'll get back to you when I've finished, um, Tidying this shit all up, because it's st stupidly ridiculous right now. Whew, right, sweet, okay, cool. We have, well, I have just tidied up my room. This is actually my room tidy, right? Like, this is it tidy. Like, this is it tidy. I actually need to chuck those things away. And... I forgot to mention, when I'm going to be going to the gym and be doing commentary on uh, body, f uh, not body fat, um, um, f splits, uh, gym splits, what is the best, um, what's the best gym split, uh, is it the bro split, which is like chest Monday, arms Tuesday, back Wednesday, legs Friday, trap Saturday, whatever sun shoulders sunday I don't, I don't fucking know or is it like full body workouts three times a week or is it um push pull legs and uh, we'll get more into the science of that when i am heading to the gym as it's like a 15 minute drive so i'll catch you guys then right now i need to go charge up my camera because it's currently on one bar and i will see you then Right, okay, welcome back, uh, we are now in the car, just in case you guys cannot tell. Um, so, I might have to actually reposition the camera because my hand might get in the way. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be going to the gym and I'm going to be doing a push day, which is, okay, I'm probably very close to the camera then. Um, anyway, yeah, we're going to be doing a push day. Um, for those of you who do not know, my, no, a pull day, for those of you who do not know, my pull consists of back, buys, and traps. Uh, I don't do shoulders and traps in one day because I find it completely pointless, they're completely opposites. Now, as promised, what is the best split for the gym? Now, obviously I'm not near my computer where I normally have all my files and all of my, um, data saved. But I can uh, remember a few things. So, what is the best split for uh, hypertrophy or hypertrophy, depending on where you're from, US or UK, respectively? I call it hy hypertrophy because it's a lot easier. Anyway, hypertrophy. As you know, uh, rep ranges uh, are from 12 to 15, just about. Um, so, for the best split, I'd say, let's, let's look at the pros and cons of each, right? So let's have a look at the full body workout. So full body workout, you can do it one every two to three days, I'd say, right? Three days, uh, three days being the maximum, the recommended because, uh, or every one and a half days, right? So I, if, I was, if I was to do a, um, a full body workout, I would do one every two days, mainly because uh, muscles actually take, well, muscle protein synthesis in muscles, as soon as you hit a uh, resistance workout, resistance slash um, uh, strength workout where you've got weight training, 36 hours afterwards, muscle protein synthesis is still going on, which obviously is what you want when you've got, uh, when you want to build up your muscles, right? When you're doing bodybuilding, um, when you want hypertrophy to take place. So you do that every two days as it takes 36 hours uh, for the body to stop um, 
synthesizing protein in the muscles to that higher extent. Now, on the other hand, uh, full body workouts, obviously they're great for intensity because you've got so much volume in there uh, and you've got your, your basically putting in so many hours in the gym in one day which I believe could lead to um, over exhaustion and over training but that of course depends on the individual so I know that after I think my, my normal workouts are around an hour an hour and a half so I think that's the recommended because after that your gains start dropping because you fatigue a lot more you're not pushing to the limit that you can normally so I find it not beneficial to work out for that amount of time so that's full body workout it's it's good it's very efficient and it's great if you're on holiday especially if you're on holiday and you want to stay in shape going to the gym and doing a full body workout is going to be the best for you like honestly it's gonna it's gonna be the best for um for anyone who's on holiday and has got limited time wants to have a good time um oh my god there's a little tiny pug on the road uh, obviously the owner was walking it. Anyway, moving on. So we've done full body work, let's do the bro split. Right, so bro splits are the ones that you see like the huge bulky guys do the, you think they're on steroids and they most likely are because they've got like injection marks in their arms. So I've got, actually got a few of those in my gym. Um, the gym that I actually work at, which is a leisure center, I work there as a lifeguard. Um, We've actually got a few of those people that go there every single day and they train a Monday chest, Tuesday arms, like Wednesday back, Thursday, le uh, Friday legs, Thursday traps and whatever the fuck you want, right? Like literally no rest days. But I find that is actually, without a doubt, one of the worst splits. And it's not because like yeah okay it sounds like a lot of work it sounds like it's really good because obviously you know you're going there like every single day and muscle protein synthesis is taking place pretty much every single day and it's like on steroids quite literally but if you think about it this way you're training like fair enough the intensity that you're training at for your um extreme size oh, fair enough the intensity that you're training at for each muscle group is really good because you're obviously putting in a lot of work in each muscle group, a lot of intensity, a lot of everything. So you're basically making a whole focus on one day on one body part, if that makes any sense. You're whereas like I'd focus an hour and a half on chest, tries and um, shoulders or back buys and traps those guys will focus an hour to an hour and a half purely on chest or purely on tries or purely on arms or whatever which is obviously quite good because you're really over fatiguing the muscle which is really causing muscle fibers to break down but on the other hand you're not training them more than once a week because think about it you've got chest back buys tries traps legs abs that's seven that's seven muscle groups so unless you can somehow do two workouts in one day one and a half hours each and not be fucking knackered then i'm sorry but the amount that you're getting in the the, the frequency that you're using each muscle is not good enough um and yeah okay fair enough you have trained it like twice as much as anyone else would have but you're not going there for it, like i would normally i normally go to the gym six days a week right so i do this it leads me on to my point, which is the last point, um, which is my workout, which is the push-pull legs program. Um, I think this here is without doubt one of the most popular choices, mainly because it's so structured and it's so nice to work with. And I'm actually getting closer to my gym. Uh, but what I do is I do push-pull legs, push-pull legs rest. So I do six days on, one day off. Uh, and that will be always the last day of the second week. It never changes, I'll never change it, mainly because what I do is I focus on hypertrophy the first three days. Actually, I might need to get in this lane. I focus on hypertrophy the first three days. So um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is hypertrophy. So hypertrophy, chest, tries and shoulders on Monday, hypertrophy, back, buys and traps on Tuesday, which is today. 
and then hypertrophy um, legs and abs tomorrow. And then the next time I do that split, the next time I go and do my chest, I will do a strength program, which means I'll limit myself down to seven to eight reps or six to eight or whatever. And then that should uh, be like, that's my week done. Then Sunday I've got to do whatever. I don't, I don't actually go to the gym. I might go to the swimming pool or something. Um, just, you know, get a, at least a little bit of exercise in and just stay well on my um, cardiovascular fitness because I'm not going on my CV. is shite. Yes, I made it through the traffic lights. But, you know, obviously it's not... I'd, I, as I said, I, I do six days on one day off and I find it very beneficial because you actually have enough time to rest the muscles during your, you're, you're resting your muscles while you're training another muscle, if that makes sense. So a normal muscle would normally take approximately um, 48 to 74 hours in order for it to um, recover, which is, you know, obviously around two to three days, right? So it's around two to three days. And um, when you've got a muscle, let's say like the chest, which is quite a big muscle, you need that recovery time. And I'm not gonna make it in one space, am I? No, I'm not. I'm just have to park it behind next to this bloke. But yeah, obviously that is a, um, that's a really big factor. So let's say, I'll give you an example, right? So we got five days. So I train Monday chest. Let's say I train chest. Chest, chest, back, legs. So it takes 36 to 48 hours for the muscle to recover, right? So I train chest, 24 hours, 48 hours, hit it again. So it's recovered within those two days where I'm still training my back and legs. I'll actually put up a little like, not an image, but like a little, almost like a graph on the screen right now, hopefully around here. Um, if it doesn't fit, then fuck it. But you see what I mean? So that's why I personally believe that that is the best um, option to go with when it comes to training. And just to make sure that you don't overtrain um, each muscle group or just don't overtrain in general. Right, I'm gonna go hit the gym because I have currently got around two hours um, before I have to be in college for my lesson. So I'll catch you guys, hopefully in college. If I've got last period off, I will record uh, with Harry in the gym and I will see you guys then. If not, I'll see you back home.